tiny village of Glen Cree is nestled in the Wicklow Mountains, some 30 kilometres south of Dublin. Despite its size, the village is steeped in military history, due in no small measure to the presence of a former British Army barracks. Since 1974, the Glen Cree Centre for Peace and Reconciliation has been based on this site. The Glencree Centre for Peace and Reconciliation was founded as a response to violent conflict on the island of Ireland. More than 40 years later, we're still involved in the work of deepening reconciliation on the island of Ireland. We do also offer uh, a programme called Southern Voice, which allows a little bit more public dialogue and allows for the engagement of people in the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland to talk about some of the issues that will have, have been forgotten about. Glen Cree is the ideal location for lovers of nature and the outdoor life. There are beautiful walks all around that you can take. Um, we have a beautiful river nearby, it's quite tranquil here. Um, we have a cafe on location, wonderful place to visit. For those who may be feeling peckish after the fresh air, the centre operates a cafe in the armory, built over 200 years ago. Welcome to our cafe. We are open from 9.30am to 5.30pm, seven days a week. All our products are made fresh daily and we serve breakfast, lunch and snacks. The barracks was established in 1806 in response to fears of further uprising by the United Irishmen who had threatened local landlords and estate owners. However, this threat never materialised and the barracks was abandoned in 1815. The building lay idle until 1859 when the barracks was converted into St Kevin's Reformatory for wayward boys aged between 11 and 13. The school accommodated up to 300 boys at any time and was administered by the Oblate Fathers. Basic education was provided for the younger boys whilst the older detainees were introduced to industrial skills which included tailoring, carpentry, quarrying and agriculture. The school was eventually closed in 1940 and all remaining inmates were transferred to Dangan State Reformatory. St Kevin's Church was built in 1860 by the Oblate Fathers in order to cater for the spiritual needs of the school detainees. Although constructed partly within the grounds of the barracks, the church has never been an integral part of the overall structure. The Reconciliation Centre organises courses and information services geared towards secondary school students and young adults. While much of our programme work uh, is below the radar, uh, we still have opportunities to offer people so if you're interested in our work, please have a look on our website for more details. You'll find details of our Young Persons Program for schools. You'll find some details about our Young Peace Builders Program, which is a program for young adults who want to engage with peace building work and get involved a little bit with the work of Glen Cree. The German War Cemetery is also located in Glen Cree. Dedicated in 1961, the cemetery contains not only the remains of German military personnel from both world wars who died in Ireland, but also the remains of 46 German civilian detainees who were being transferred from Britain to Canada for internment when their ship was torpedoed by a German U-boat off the Donegal coast in 1940. The last person to be interred in Glen Cree Cemetery was the German spy, Dr. Hermann Gortz. He committed suicide while in police custody in Dublin in 1947, awaiting deportation to Germany. He was buried in Dean's Grange Cemetery on the outskirts of Dublin. His remains were transferred to Glen Cree in 1974. For more information on this historic village, log on to www.glencree.ie.